my child is really struggling with a dyslexia diagnosis. How can I support them and help them build their self-esteem? I'm Jenny Sherson, ex-special educator turned dyslexia interventionist. It wasn't so long ago that I too was overwhelmed by balanced literacy versus structured literacy, education speak, and everything in between. Fast forward after many, many hours of self-driven education, and you'll see I've built a thriving dyslexia practice helping students from age six to 18. My specialties, working with a quote unquote difficult, almost always to be student, and breaking down the complexities of dyslexia into everyday language strategies and action steps. One of the greatest things you can do for your child, any child, is to help them find their passion. What exactly is a passion? A passion is a strong and intense interest in something. When someone is passionate about something, they're often driven by an emotional connection and sense of purpose. This sense of purpose builds self-esteem and brings a great deal of fulfillment and satisfaction. If you do a quick Google search, you'll find many cases of adult dyslexics who found their passion and are thriving. Some of them are well-known. Director Steven Spielberg, actor Kira Knightley, basketball player Magic Johnson, and author Agatha Christie. That last one always surprises me. Some are less well-known. The founder of JetBlue, David Nealman, ice dancer and Olympic gold medalist, Merrill Davis, legendary photographer, Ansel Adams, molecular biologist and Nobel laureate, Carol Greeter, and inventor, Sir James Dyson. So how can you help your child find their passion? Encourage them to explore. You can do this by exposing them to a variety of activities and interests. Attend museums, listen to music, take day trips, encourage hobbies, or join clubs. This helps them figure out what they like and what they don't. Help them to identify their strengths and support and nurture these strengths. Provide a positive learning environment at home. Not all learning is book learning. You can foster a love of learning through hands-on experiences and exploration. Cooking, gardening, music, trip planning, anything can become a learning experience. Use assistive technology. Text-to-speech and audiobooks are invaluable ways to learn more about something that interests you. Foster a growth mindset. Keep pointing out, no matter how many times they need to hear it, that dedication and effort pay off. It doesn't have to look the same as everyone else and celebrate small successes. They will build on top of each other and promote in your child resilience and a willingness to take on more and bigger challenges. By exposing your child to new ideas and experiences, you create an avenue for them to build their self-confidence and find their passion. You give them the space and opportunity to shine. If you have any further questions about dyslexia or ways to support your child, please feel free to sneak into my inbox. I'd also love your input. What would you like to hear from me in the future? Is there a topic I haven't covered yet you really want to learn more about? Or do you have a pressing need and you're not really sure how to handle it or move forward? Send me a DM on Instagram or drop me an email at Jenny at LiteracyUntangled.com. That's J-E-N-N-I-E at LiteracyUntangled.com. And I can't wait to hear from you. Until next time, bye-bye. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Literacy Untangled. If you loved this episode as much as I did, head on over and rate and subscribe so you never miss an episode. If you want to continue the conversation or share your takeaways, head on over to our Instagram at Literacy Untangled and comment on your favorite part. I can't wait to hang out with you again soon. Bye.